This episode has been brought to you by Trevor Holman of American Family Insurance. Give them a call to possibly save over 25% on your homeowner's insurance. Oh my gosh, it's kind of like the Hobbit house. It's like Hansel and Gretel's house. Yeah, totally. This is Talk It Up TV. I think the main thing that I like most about the house is probably the, the rock. Um, the, one of the things that I wanted to do was uh, build a house that had either brick or uh, masonry rock. Uh, between that and the inspiration from Thomas Kincaid, uh, his paintings, um, we did a lot of it on the fly ourselves. We like to throw parties yeah. and we've got a little barbecue over on the side over there and uh, we've got surround uh, three speakers. One of the things that I noticed in your house is you like fireplaces. I love fire. And we're standing in front of your main fireplace here. Well, I wanted to have a, a fireplace with some size and uh, something that could really put out some heat. Uh, when my brick mason originally set up the fireplace, it was way too small. So I said, no, I want to be able to pull up here with a tractor and put a root ball in the thing. And she says, oh, I get what size of a fireplace you want now. Now, this mantle. We had a guy that just walked onto the job site while I was under construction. He said, uh, I've got just the idea. I've got a piece of maple from a big old tree that I had cut up and sawn into pieces. So we went over and looked at it. I said, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I want right there. So Ron, moving into your kitchen, I'd like to get some feedback from you, but tell me first about the stove and then tell me about the, the kitchen. I think one of the greatest things about the, the kitchen is the stove. Uh, we have a circa 1890s uh, stove that we got online and it's been refurbished. It's a wood burning coal type stove and it really supplies heat to the whole house. Uh, on the rock we tried to do uh, some this this arch theme and all of the arches in the house including the fireplace, both fireplaces, uh, this archway, uh, one over here above the sink and one at the entryway are all half rounds. Hey, I'm Pete. I'm Andy. Welcome to the Bachman Mansion. Come on into our crib. So Ron, this is the quote unquote man cave, the media room. Tell me, tell me what uh, you really wanted to bring out in this room. Man cave, I love the word. <laughs> uh, we enjoy this. This is where I, I, a lot of my friends and I will watch many a losing Mariner game or Seahawks game. Hey guys. Oh, hey Ron. You found my office. I thought it was hidden. You thought your attached hidden office was hidden? We found it. But since we're up here, tell us about it. Well, this is a, the area where I come to do my business and I meet a few people here. Uh, I've got a separate entrance. It's just located above the garage. And uh, it's the, really the only part of the house that my wife gave me free reign to pick out my own colors and floor style. Uh, I picked out a black walnut. Uh, it's sculpted hewn walnut. This is one of the most amazing master baths. Heated floors, polished tile, gorgeous, gorgeous countertops. And you guys, honestly, you've got to check out this shower. Bob! We've got a nice sized master bedroom with a great view of a pond out in, in woods. We've got nine acres in the back that way. Okay, Ron, so the coolest thing, in my opinion, about this house is the roof. My wife would agree with you. She was really the one who just stayed after this whole thatch roof thing. Uh, we found the, the thatch roof online. A company out of Quebec made it, and uh, you don't see it very often around here. It's a simulated palm thatch, and it's actually made of polyethylene. So here we are in the uh, formal living room of the Bachman Mansion. This is our pink onyx rock star fireplace. Uh, it was originally commissioned by Randy Bachman. This is the reason that this room is called the Overdrive Room. This gear was actually found in a meadow outside the uh, first recording studio for Bachman and Burton. And when they found it, they came up with the name Bachman Turner Overdrive. So this is where it came. This is our gym and torture chamber. Uh, actually, it's where we put our unwanted guests. So uh, earlier today, we found one. Uh, it is a fully functioning gym, uh, as you can see, and believe it or not, it does get used. What are you looking at? I'm in shackles here. 
Oh, don't even think I'm gonna be breaking a sweat. Well, you can't have a crib without a big screen, and this is uh, where we watch all the big games in our crib. We got the big fireplace over here. You can stand in it and warm up on a cold day. We got the big comfy couches in here, large uh, TV tray coffee table, so it's pretty comfy. Every woman has her dream kitchen, and I guess this would be mine. The best part, for sure, is the stove. Two full ovens, six burners, and a giant grill. You could do your whole Thanksgiving dinner right in one time. It's awesome. This is the fridge. Best part about it, full-on freezer, full of my husband's ice cream right now, I'm afraid. And full-on refrigerator, full of health food for me. One of the things about living in the Bachman is you better expect some big events. This kitchen was designed for catering. So when we do those events for charity or weddings or whatever we happen to be doing at the time, this is where the caterers can come in fully set up. They've got two ovens, another six burner stove, full size refrigerator, more dishwasher, so we can host 250 people without too much of a sweat. This is the master bedroom. We spend a lot of time up here hiding from the rest of the family, so hence another big TV. <laughs> My husband likes his TV. But the main thing about this room that's really special is the bathroom. The main thing about the bathroom is the tub. You'll notice that it's copper with a tin lining. That means it works just like a pot on the stove. You get in there, the water stays hot and perfect, and believe it or not, it's perfectly proportioned no matter what size you are so that you could soak in there for a couple of hours. My hope was that if I let my husband build a garage, because we didn't have one, that maybe I could do some work on the inside of the house. Unfortunately, I left him alone to do whatever he wanted, and this was the result. What you see here is the most up-to-date bowling alley anywhere north of Seattle. Well, people who know my dad know that he started off as a basketball coach, so here's our regulation size basketball and volleyball court. Okay, Talk It Up TV, it's been fun, but now it's time for you guys to get out of here. We've taken you on top of Chuckin' Up Mountain with 27 acres. We've taken you to the Hansel and Gretel house with the thatched roof. The Bachman Mansion with an indoor swimming pool, a bowling alley. Now that is Whatcom County Cribs. You know, I dig the cribs, but I still kind of like my own place the best. Get out! What? See you next week at opening day of boating season. Why? Why? Mm-hmm.